Welcome to day nine of the 30 day beginner yoga challenge. Today we are going to bring back our warrior pose and our sun salutations and we're going to add in reverse warrior and side angle pose. So we are going to get started in mountain pose, standing up at the front edge of the mat. Stand yourself up nice and tall, feet together. We're going to do the first little bit of our sun salutations to warm ourselves up and then we'll start flowing all the way through. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive. Wrap your arms around the back of your legs, release your head. Inhale, lift halfway up into a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Release your head. Soft bend in your knees. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up, come up with a flat back. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back pose. Exhale, forward fold, soft knees. Inhale, sweep yourself all the way up and back. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back pose. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, soft knees, hands to the floor, release your head. And then inhale, lift out and up. And then we're going to flow through our whole sun salutation. So bring your hands to your chest, release the shoulders, mountain pose. Inhale, stretch out and up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forwards. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep out and up. Exhale, hands to chest. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, swan dive down to forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway into flat back. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, lower your chest. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forwards. Exhale, forward fold, release your head, soft knees. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, mountain pose. Release your hands, stand yourself tall and upright. Take a few deep breaths. And then inhale, step your right leg back. Find your warrior two position. Tuck your hips under. Have your left knee above your ankle. Gazing down your left arm. Turn your palms up. Inhale, stretch everything up. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, lift arms up overhead as you change your front leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And then we're going to do our reverse warrior. So turn just your left palm so it faces up. So right hand down, left hand up. Imagine you've got a hinge at your waist and you're just going to tilt backwards. So you're not going to lean back, keep your legs locked in place and you just tilt back. So we've got our left palm turned up, inhale, reverse warrior. Your right hand comes down onto your right leg, just lightly resting. Your left hand stretches up overhead. So you've inhaled and then as you exhale, come back through warrior two, rest your forearm on the top of your thigh, turn your right palm so it faces up and then take that arm up by your ear. So stretch through your fingertips, tuck the hips under, lift up through your chest. So nice stretch all along the side of your body, top shoulder rolling back. Inhale, back to your warrior two. Exhale, back to mountain. Release the shoulders. Step your left leg back, find your warrior two position. So hips are tucked under, right knee above your right ankle, pushing down through the outside edge of your left leg, 
pulling up through your thigh to your hips, looking across your right arm, gazing down across the fingertips. Turn both palms up, so we're going to flow first. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Turn your right palm so it faces up, left hand stays down. Inhale, reverse warrior. So again, you just pivot backwards. There's no shift of your weight into your back leg. Your right leg stays bent, knee above ankle. Reverse warrior, stretch up through your fingertips. Inhale, exhale, side angle. Rest your thigh, sorry, rest your forearm on your thigh. And then your top arm, the palm flips up and then comes all the way across. So you end up with your palm facing down. So rotating that arm around is going to really help. So a lot of the time I see people get the arm to here and then it just gets stuck and it doesn't go any further. Rotate the arm around and then suddenly you've got all of this space here and you can move. Inhale back up. Exhale back to your mountain pose. So we're going to do one more flow through our sun salutations and then we're going to do a slightly more advanced variation for those that want it. Inhale, stretch your arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower your chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forwards. Exhale, forward fold. Release your head. Soft knees. Inhale, stretch up and back. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, warrior two. Step your right leg back. Release your shoulders. Gaze down your left arm. Turn your left palm up. And then we're going to take this back hand around so it goes behind our back and tucks into our hip crease there. So you're going to inhale, kind of spin the arms. So you take your right hand around, you've got your fingers kind of poking out over here, I don't know if you can just see that. And then your top arm up. So it's going to involve a little bit more core strength. And it's also going to make sure you aren't resting on that back leg. Take a few deep breaths. So if this one is too much for you, feel free to just rest that hand there. You don't need to take this option. Inhale back up. As you exhale, again, we've got the option to do a forearm on the thigh. Or if it's really comfortable, easy for you, you can slide this hand to the floor. Just be mindful that your chest stays open. So keep your chest facing outwards as you take your hand down. If you have to look down to get your hand down, then that's not going to be the best option for you. You're just going to stay up here. Inhale back up. Exhale, mountain pose. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, warrior two. Release the shoulders. Turn your right palm up. Inhale, reverse warrior. So do whichever option works best for you. Stretch up through your top arm. Wiggle your fingers around. Keep your core strong. Inhale, back up. And then exhale again, do the option that works best for you. So hand to the floor. If you start to look down with your chest, then you rest your forearm on the top of your thigh. Inhale, back up. Exhale, mountain pose. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, stretch up and back. Exhale, hinge forwards. Take your hands to the floor, so soft knees. Release your head. Pause in forward fold. Take a deep breath. Step back to downward facing dog. Pause in downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths. 
fingers spread really wide, hips stretching up and back. Pull the front of your thighs up towards your hips. And then exhale, child's pose. Drop down to hands and knees. Move the knees apart, sit back to your heels. Fold over. Take a deep breath. Inhale, back up onto hands and knees. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Inhale, right hand turns up. Exhale, thread the needle. Thread the arm underneath the left, sliding away. Rest your head and your shoulder down. Take a few deep breaths. Inhale, back up onto hands and knees. Turn your left palm up, inhale. As you exhale, thread it underneath your right arm. Twist yourself around, rest your head and your shoulder down, maybe close the eyes. On an inhale, bring yourself slowly back up. And then sit yourself comfortably. Roll your shoulders back a few times. Sit yourself tall and upright. Drop your head over to your right shoulder. Let it hang heavy. And then take your head over to your left shoulder. Let it hang heavy. Back to the centre. Drop your chin to your chest. Take your arms in front, walk them away, fold over your cross legs, release everything, sink down, and then roll yourself up. Roll your shoulders back again, there's a big shoulder roll. Inhale, stretch your arms out and up, lift your chest. Exhale, hands down to finish. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed that today. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more energised. Um, warrior poses are very strong, very energising, and particularly your reverse warrior, where you're extending out through the side of your body and you're really opening your chest, um, is great for picking up your energy, boosting your mood. So I hope you're feeling really good. Tomorrow we're going to do another fairly strong practice. We're going to work towards triangle pose. So we're going to do a lot of work on stretching on opening our hips and extending through the side of the body. So it's another big pose, another big chest opener, hip opener, um, energizing pose. So I hope I will see you then. Bye.